Hi guys, you're welcome back to the first model of this particular weather application in which we'll be talking about the menus. Uh, we're going to look at the menus that we'll be using in this particular application. Uh, However, we're going to create a forecast.xml and uh, we're going to actually inflate uh, the on create options menu. So right there in my main activity, you know, after the on post execute method, uh, you're going to override uh, on create options menu to inflate the menu for this activity. I'm going to return true to display the menu. Let's quickly look at the forecast.xml. Uh, this particular XML uh, is a menu uh, tag with the uh, tools, you know, which is the Android tools, and the context is the main activity. We're going to add one item to the menu with an ID of action refresh. I'm going to set the title of the menu item to refresh using the strings XML. You know, that's what we actually did here. The title, refresh, the ID is called action uh, refresh and right there in the in the main activity uh i have the on create options menu about we have the menu and the object of the menu uh we're going to use the app compact activity method get a menu inflator to get a handle on the menu inflator that's what we're doing we create an object called inflator uh, we get the menu inflator we use the inflator uh, method to inflate our menu layout to this menu okay so that is why we do here or the menu the forecast xml so we return true so that the menu is displayed in the toolbar so that's what is being returned here uh we're going to override the on options items selected to handle clicks on the refresh button because that's just the only menu we're handling here which is the refresh button which is sitting at the top right bar let's quickly look at the uh the forecast xml uh, rendering library to see how it's going to really look like there's a weather app there's a refresh uh, button sitting at the top right corner uh going back to the main activity uh so we have the option option selected we have the id which is actually going to get the id i will pass the item which is the parameter to each id so if the id is equals to the action refresh so what's going to happen the m weather text view which is still the appended text view we're going to set the text to empty afterwards we're going to load the weather data again so you should understand how to refresh your json data you know this is just how you do it first of all it's set to empty you know the second uh, line you're going to reload uh the load weather data which is this uh, particular method that actually called on the uh the get ref refer weather location and fetch the weather tax which actually extends the async tag. you can see how everything is interwoven you know, to actually get a complete application so this is how it just happens uh, even if you are using a pull refresh you still have to go to this way so you you, you you load the weather data method to get the refresh done so you return true so that it's going to actually show back so uh, afterwards now return the super on options item selected based on the item uh, parameter uh, that's how to actually uh get the refresh done and uh, we'll actually set the menu right uh we'll be moving straight we'll be moving straight to polishing this particular application so stay tuned to the next uh model uh uh stay blessed